Alright guys, welcome back to stream number two, episode four, five, and six of my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. Kingdom Hearts 2, sorry, Let's Play. Um, we're about three hours in, and last time out we was in the mansion, in the white room, as uh, Roxas. And we are currently trying to understand um, exactly what is going on. So we picked up um, a moment ago, I don't know if we can see it in our item. I don't think we possibly can, but we had just picked up. Uh, oh, it's there. Namine sketches. So um, I'm pretty sure what we need to do with these is we, there was a room that we went into just before we finished off last time, which we could. Let's uh, equip that as well, as we have the ability points. Um, there was a room we went into and there was like a drawing and it said that it was incomplete. So now that we have um, Namine's drawings, I think we'll be able to go and sort that out. So let's jump on back to the mansion through the foyer. Good to hear that you're doing well, Papyrus. Did I kill that other guy as well? I guess I did. So the best way to deal with these guys is to keep um, attacking and then use the reversal to go around the back of them. Seems to work really well against those guys. Um, these guys glitch or... I guess they're just stuck in the ground. You can't attack them while they're stuck in the ground. I actually hit a parry. That was interesting. Never really got parrying in the first game, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's jump in to the library and see if we can't finish this sketch. I think it's going to do it for us by the looks of it. I know I can parry Evan. I'm just saying I I never did I didn't parry in the first game. I never really got parrying. Cuz you parry with square not um just hitting attack all the time. All right. Yeah, if you um it's kind of looks the place where Diz was. If you um, actually pay attention to tutorials and things, it does tell you about parrying. Yeah. It's like that. That's kind of like a... Yeah. Like that. It's like a yeah. s square movement. If any of the controls, I don't know. Um, I don't think you can customize controls, can you? So, but yeah. I'm sure it said something about that. You know, it doesn't really tell me much. Yeah, it's definitely where Diz was.
Okay, so this is before Rechain of Memories, because all of the organization are here. Why? Why do you have the keyblade? Shut up. we can maintain the simulated town until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What will happen to Roxas? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In the end, he'll have to give it back. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. Poor thing. It's the fate of a nobody. If in doubt as to what button you need to press on the computer, just smash it to pieces. This probably won't ever work again. Yeah, no... No kidding. Alright. Save space, so... It's always an indication that something is about to happen. Looks like someone's data. Whose data? Kind of looks a bit like Sora. Could also be us. Oh, looks like we got a fight. Defeat all of the strange enemies. Trying to parry his attack there, it didn't really work and do anything, so. Simply amazing, Roxas. Axel, you really do remember me this time. I'm so flattered! Fire Roxas, uh, Axel, I mean. Okay. Oh, we got two weapons, two keyblades. Okay. 
triangle should do something, but it's not doing anything. Did something. Wow, this combo is insane. <laughs> that combo is insane. It just kept going and going and going. That's completely different to the way the combos worked in the original game. their bad side and they'll destroy you no one would miss me that's not true i would axel let's meet again in the next life yeah i'll be waiting Silly. Just because you have a next life. Rip Axel. Okay. Looks like it leads somewhere, but the power of darkness prevents entry. Okay. Which way did I come in? This way? Yeah, okay. So let's go through the mystery door. It's kind of looked like the uh, Namine pods. Donald. They are the Namine Goofy? pods. Where's Sora? Seems only the power is on. Goofy is sleeping inside. Donald is sleeping inside. Hasn't been used in a while. There's evidence this was used before. There's evidence it was used before? Really? Okay. At last, the key blades chosen one. Who are you talking to? Me or Sora? To half of Sora, of course. You reside in darkness. What I need is someone who can move about the realm of light and destroy Organization 13. Why? Who are you? I am a servant of the world. <laughs> and if I'm a servant, then you should consider yourself a tool at best. Was that... Hush. Was that supposed to be a joke? Because I'm not laughing! Ugh. My apologies. This is only a data-based projection. Part of projection, don't you understand, Roxas? Oh, over here. I hate you so much. You should share some of that hatred with Sora. He's far too nice for his own good. No! My heart belongs to me! Sora. 
Sora. You're lucky. Looks like my summer vacation is over. It looks like that was all of the introduction. <laughs> wow. Okay, so just let's just like think about that for a moment. So Roxas is Sora, but in the darkness. He's the darkness version of Sora. Is what I get from that. So like like everything has an opposite. Like light and dark. So Sora is the light and Roxas is the dark, but together they make like a complete person. I think is what I'm taking from that. Hopefully that's right. But everything we've seen up to this point now with Twilight Town is a, um, it's not real. It's like a fictional um, generation where the dark side of Sora, AKA Roxas has been just kind of waiting for Sora to wake up, I believe. Hey, it's Mickey Mouse. A dog. You get to play as Mickey? We're pretty cool. Sora. Who's there? Sammy! Sora, wake up. So it seems like as well, like although that was like a generation for Roxas to while he was waiting for Sora to wake up, is I guess because Mickey is on the dark side of the Kingdom Hearts, the door of Kingdom Hearts, right? So does that mean Mickey is in the dark realm, possibly? That's why Mickey just got off a train in Twilight Town. So what about the previous like 40, 50 hours I spent in Rechain of Memory? Oh, that's right. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't exist. What does your journal say, Jiminy? Gee, there's only one sentence. Thank nominate. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Uh, well, what do you say we find out where we are? All right, party members have been switched. Okay. Let's check out our abilities and everything that we've got here. So, yeah, so... I think this is like, again, just solidifies the fact that Sora and Roxas are one because we have the same abilities now with that we equipped to Roxas with now with Sora. 
And then two new abilities, Donald Thunder and Donald Cure. Oh, and we can set there. Okay, so we, then we can. Yeah, okay, so then we can set there like the way they use it. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's like the custom config that we had in the original. Um, goofy Bash. Increase effects done with, with healing items on the field by 50%. Okay, there's nothing that we can change on that, I don't think. Just equip it and I'm going to equip it. Let's set everything to like conservative at the minute. And then we'll see how we go from there. So we've got some characters. Donald, Goofy. Saw a new menu on the... Um, here as well, which is interesting. Just here, Gibide, who not long ago saved the world of all worlds. He has been deep asleep in the mysterious mansion with his friends Donald and Goofy. Looks like he's grown a few inches while he's been napping. The Royal Court Magician. I saw a Donald fall into deep slumber, but woke up moments before Sora did. They have to be reunited after all this time, but what lies ahead? Captain of the Royal Knights, like Sora, Goofy fall into deep slumber. He doesn't remember why he was asleep, but he thoroughly he thoroughly refreshed after his after sleeping so well. Who can say what's in store for our three reunited friends? Got by voice calling out to him. Sora woke up in a mysterious mansion. He must have been sleeping there for a long time, but he couldn't remember a thing. He couldn't remember a thing. A message. Thank Namine. Literally all it says. Is thank Namine. Can't scroll left or right. Okay, that's fine. Hello. Treasures. Hello, Mr. Deathwish. Mr. 808 hey. himself. <laughs> hey, thank you, man. Happy birthday, uh, Death Wish. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> uh, uh, the best song I've heard all day. I can imagine it's probably the only song you've heard all day if you've only just woken up. <laughs> uh, it's not the only song I've heard, but the only one that someone sang. With their own voice. <laughs> so, yeah, love it. Thank you. Uh, Kairi, long term friend of Riku Soro, one of the seven princesses who ties to the keys and keyholes. Not long ago, when she was lost in darkness, Riku Soro both tried to save her, each in their own way. Thanks to them, Kairi was able to return to her home island, but her memory of Sora was gone, and she soon stopped visiting the inlet where they once played. And Ansem, mysterious wielder of darkness, what could his true purpose be? Are, are you on Twitch or YouTube? Ah, uh, Twitch. I'm on Twitch. Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh man, it's four. And that uh, me and Jason watched uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil again. Okay. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I have not. Okay. Yeah, I think we talked about that for a brief period. But yeah, Dave, trust me, you'll love it. And I want to watch it with you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I doing here? Let's see. Uh, okay, so everything is a little bit different. Okay, so we equip things through the item menu now. Okay, that's good to know. Right, I think we're about uh, good to go. You can now go. You can now view the status of party members from the main menu. All Ross's hey, abilities Paris. and money have been passed on to Sora. Jimmy's journal contains hints of what to do next and past events. Okay. So, if 
Mickey just showed up in Twilight Town. Let's head to Twilight Town. I think it's probably a good idea. How you doing, Evan? How many uh, games are there of Kingdom Hearts? A lot. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I keep seeing like 1.5, 2.5. Well, yeah, so 1.5 is the same as the original. It's just like a remastered version, like a remix version. So it's got some improvements and bits and pieces. So 1.5 is the same as 1 and 2.5 is the same as 2. But then there's okay. lots of spin-offs as well. Uh, yeah, that clears everything up. 100%. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I must have imagined it. Oh, I mean, yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Doing good here. Uh, just chilling out by myself, celebrating my, my, uh, my birthday. Just wondering what was back here. Yeah, when you get older, now you, know. you this don't is our spot. do that. Um, Unless you just want an excuse to You're have some cake here, or something. Right? I'm Pence. Kaner, nice to meet you. But we got stuff to do, so catch you later. My name's Alette. Hey, did uh, you finish up the yeah. summer homework yet? Mm -hmm. Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework? Hey, what are your names? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Hey there. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we just met someone who was looking for you. He sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. But he had these big round ears. Where'd you see him? At the station. The station, thanks. Well, you'd better get back to that assignment. Later. Yeah, let's get to the station. Let's go find King Mickey. It's only taken two and a bit games to actually get him to uh, be an important part of one of these games, but hey. <laughs> Why not? We have to do our homework. If you've got time, why don't you get a job? Oh, wait. I don't think anyone's hiring right now. What do I want to get a job for? The guy looked used at the station. Is it top of station heights? You should go see what he wants. If you want to know about this town? Go, go to the sand lot. We're busy. I'm sure Cypher's bunch will accommodate you. Uh, okay, so the station heights is that way. So we'll go this way. More talky hey, talky. You. Where'd you come from? Uh, you here to pick a fight with us or something? Fight? We're not here to fight. Okay, smart Alex. Time to teach you how to behave in my town. Bring it. Man, what a jerk. <laughs> One moment. If you're gonna fight, why not make it a proper struggle? What? You see, Cypher, I'm a really big fan. What? What do you want? In other words, I want to see more of your super cool moves. You handled the tournament with real style, and you absolutely dominated the title match. But I just can't get enough. Don't you I'm sure see? he did dominate the, the title match, are but far okay. Too short. And what's your name? Sora. Sora, if you want to fight a match, you just say the word. Hmm. 
you know, I'm pretty sure Roxas won the um, competition, but I guess it was all the dream world, so it didn't happen. We just use that as an excuse in every uh, every real life situation, Deathwish. It was in a dream world and it didn't happen. <laughs> So what have you been up to then, Deathwish? You been? Have you actually? Have you? I mean, this like genuinely as well. Have you been awake long, or other than just watching TV with Jason? Been up to anything else? Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you. I can. Okay. Yeah, I. Uh... Yeah, uh, I caught part of that. My headphones yeah. were hanging on my door. My That's right. I, I, just, door. I just said I, I meant it. I mean this like genuinely. Um, have you have you done much today or have you just kind of been sleeping oh, no. just a bit of TV with Jason or? Oh, uh, yeah, just, uh, I just chilled out and... Uh, because I uh, ended up falling asleep like at 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And I was just chilling, and then I woke up at uh, like 11 something and then PM. Okay. And I'm like, okay, so yeah. So then I just kind of was like, hey, it's 12. And my, my technically, my birthday is at. Two, two something on the morning. I forget two twenty something. Oh, you you proper maximize the day then? Ah, uh, I just it's. I don't I don't get by that. I just ah, uh, it's my birthday, birth week, birth month, whatever, whatever. Uh, I feel like doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't um. I don't go too much on the time and stuff, but I don't think I, I wasn't born till like half past ten at night, so my birthday was really quite short. Yeah, I was the opposite. You was being an impatient SOB. Couldn't yeah, wait any longer. Uh, uh, you got it, man. <laughs> To be fair though, Ari Ariella's the same. She was she was like born at two oh four in the morning, so Ben's more like me where he was uh six minutes to eight at night, I think he was, so yeah. Yeah, I think uh both my girls were they, well, they were uh, I think just, just before, just after lunchtime. Yeah. And they were both born in the exact same room. Yeah. Like, literally, the, the exact same room had the same doctors, different nurses, but uh, same doctor, and yada yada. Yeah. Oh, good. That's quite mad that, like, exactly the same room and stuff. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's a huge ass room, too. I mean, uh, I'd say. Square feet. Did you say four mm. feet? No, square, like square footage. It would probably let's see. Coming in, that's there, that's there, that's there, that's there. The bed's there. Whole oh, bunch of space. There's a couch, there's a TV, there's uh, a whole maybe warmer area. Yeah. 
Mm. We had a crazy good Ryan Bay Thumbs. And yeah, I'll have to say. Uh, uh, but I, I have to say. What'd you have to say? Uh, uh, tell us, about, tell about, us. Uh, about 11 or I'd say 11 or 1200 square feet. Okay. Yep. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Eleven or twelve hundred square feet. I I heard that right, right? All right. Yeah, nah. I'm thinking about it. I, that's right. Part of it was well. It depends on if you count the bathroom and other room. But it, I mean, just yeah, it was about nine hundred. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, give give me your uh, three feet by eight feet uh, jail cell that your kids were born in. <laughs> it wasn't quite that small, but I mean, yeah, it was nothing like massively big. That's for sure. Well, I have to say, uh, we. It, it's not it's not that way for everybody it no. was it, like uh i mean people like me and the doctor and i'm like can i get the same room as last last time seven years later he's like yeah yeah see what i can do i'm I don't do that. And magically, it happened. <laughs> like walking, yeah, like, walking like, around I'll... the hospital going, don't you know who I am? <laughs> uh, it, it was great. And then, man, going, my oldest daughter went up and and in the nursery where they got all the the babies where they're acclimated them to you know whatever they're going to be on whether it's formula or breast milk or this that the other hmm. vi vitals and all that jazz and, uh and they have the names on the sides yeah um, i'm like where is hope he yep Okay, that's mine. <laughs> I look over and it's my oldest. Just got like an athletic build just laying there. <laughs> you actually have those rooms in America where you just have like like big rooms full of babies, or is that just like a a made up TV thing? Just. Uh, it's, it, 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 no, yeah, it's it's a nursery. Uh, the like the hospital we were at is, um, yeah, I mean, it it was in the middle, and so there, I would say there was probably, let's see, one, two, three, four, there was probably twenty twenty babies ish you know give or take okay the but yeah i i think i know what you're talking about and no we don't have some like huge thing. i mean there, there probably is somewhere i've never seen one they're yeah, even, even even like that many like you, you just like tw to like 20 babies that's still like but no, we just, we we just don't have that sort of thing here. It's like very much like when the baby is born, they're just like left with you basically. They don't go and take them off anywhere and into like a separate room or or anything like that. So uh, I just okay. didn't I just didn't know okay. if it was something that had been um you know as as TV and media like to do like something that they 
kind of made up or if it actually genuinely was a thing that happens. Um, anyway, let's get back to the story, yeah, shall we? Yeah, let's... I mean, that, 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 as far as it going, you know, uh, with, with, you know, with, with some of a, let me track myself. Have a think about have a think about it. I'll just play this bit of story out, and then if you remember what you're trying to say, yeah, do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm good. I'll mute myself. Like we gotta fight before we get story time. Yeah, interestingly as well, Sora doesn't have the um the like the uh weird reverse uh, mechanic that we have with Roxas, so I was going mad with the thunder. Interesting with this game, I noticed like at the beginning there was no like options to change the way you can speed up your character development like there was in the original. So I guess it's more balance leveling up in this game. Telling me you guys are tired. Stop being lazy. It's Mickey. Mickey's kicking ass. Your Majesty. Shh. You gotta board the train and leave town. The train knows the way. Here. Wait, isn't that the coin purse that Rox has collected? So is Mickey connected to the guy who was helping Diz? Ah. The king? Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. The king was locked in the realm of darkness, right? Uh-huh. But we just saw him. Yep. And if the king is here, that means Riku's here. He's gotta be. Well, I'm gonna go look for Riku. Then he and I can go back to the islands together. Kairi's there waiting for us. What are you two gonna do? Worse, Sora, do you have to ask? <laughs> Your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What do you say, guys? Let's stick together for one more journey. To where again? We have to board the train. Oh, yeah. Come on. Train knows where, apparently. 
Vouch from the king, there's 5,000 money inside for some reason. Uh, crystal orb, pretty cool, a pretty crystal that sparkles brightly when held up at the sun. Yeah, so this is all the stuff that, like, Roxas got stolen from him, right? In the dream world, so... It's interesting. Like I say, there's like, seems like there's some connection between Mickey and the guy who's with Diz. Now, um, they, they touched on an interesting thing there, which was like, hang on a minute, Riku and King Mickey were locked or trapped in the darkness. So, yeah, genuinely, how have they escaped? Or have, is this person the opposite? Um, something else from earlier on as well, thinking back, we haven't like seen the full kind of cut scene, but there's, uh, there was a scene with, uh, I, I assume now it's Roxas fighting a load of Heartless in the square. And there is a blind guy in the Organization 13 robe. And I wonder if that was Riku's opposite from the like dark world, because it sounded just like, Riku like Roxas sounds like Sora. So yeah, some weird and interesting stuff going on, and I'm still not quite sure what the answers are myself. Um yeah, the white guys are pretty creepy, especially the way they move, Perfirus. I completely agree. We also got the secret anthem reports. Reviewing Jimmy's journal. Wait up. Hey, Sora? What? Nothing, but... We came to see you off. It just seemed like something we ought to do. Oh. Really? Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. Huh? Do I want one? They're the same. Yeah. Three tickets, please. Wasn't the purple train the ghost train? I can't help feeling like we won't see this town again. Why not? You're thinking too much. Yeah, you're right. Is that like some sort of hint that we should explore and, and do everything properly? I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know, there's some chests and things over here, so let's go and grab those real quickly. I'm sure we'll be back to Twilight Town at some point. Fence and some high potions. Uh, can't jump over there. Grab this chest over in this corner. Seems like potentially we're going to be like using trains to travel around this time instead of the gummy ships. So, Seaside Festival is here. That key. He is totally overcompensating with that key. <laughs> no, he just has a big lock to lock up, that's all. Yeah, well, he only has to tap them. And they just open. Because they won't fit. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go. That's what I just said, Sora. Bye. Hey, Sora? You sure we haven't met before? Bye. Positive. Why do you ask? Why are you crying for? <laughs> wow, you just met these guys and you're crying because you're leaving. 
you okay? It, yeah. Don't know where it came from. <laughs> Pull it together. I guess that's the Roxas right. side of him. See ya. Okay, so another interesting observation, and I don't know if there's any like any merit to this, but I wonder if Alette is anything to do with Kyrie and Kyrie's dark side, because just like this thinking about the symbolism of like the coin purse there, obviously it's like they ha Sora has the same one given to him as Colette has. And it almost rings home like the keepsake that Kyrie has, like the little star thing. Um, yeah, maybe I'm overthinking that, but just something that came to my mind. You know? Well, I hear you. I'm Name sorry. one thing you haven't heard tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad impression of squeaky chair and. <laughs> yeah, we can visit uh, no, uh, normally that would that happens when I'm trying to sit still and it'll just uh, move slightly I probably don't move more than half an inch but yeah it's you squeaky, don't hear squeaky. anything you don't, nice. I'm moving left and right, forward and backwards, go up where? and down, back down. Yep. Did you hear anything? Nope. I didn't know. Yep. It's not like we have homes to return to. Hopefully, it'll stay like that. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. Because it's a home. new chair. But there is some place I want to go, and someone I want to see. Same here. So, you think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... Diz wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. 